Hello everyone and welcome back to Learn Vietnamese with Jane. In today's lesson, we are gonna learn some useful phrases for daily conversations. Now let's look at this phrase. Đúng không? Or phải không? Again, đúng không? Or phải không? Which means right. Or isn't it? So when you you can use this phrase when you say anything and you would like to confirm whether it is right. You can add the word đúng không or phải không just after what you say. Now for example, Ngày mai anh nghỉ làm, đúng không? Are you taking a day off tomorrow, aren't you? Or Lan là nha sĩ, đúng không? Lan is a dentist, isn't she? So a note about the pronunciation here, the word không at the end of the sentence. You can say không, hông, hôm, or ôm. For example, làng là nha sĩ, đúng không? You can say làng là nha sĩ, đúng không? Làng là nha sĩ, đúng không? Now, this is a very common phrase in daily conversation. Không sao đâu. Again, không sao đâu. Which means it's okay. Or that's fine. For example, your friend ask you Mình làm vậy có sao không? It is okay if we do that. And you know that is no problems. You can say Không sao đâu. Không sao đâu. It's okay. That's fine. Now for this phrase Chính vì vậy cho nên là Again, chính vì vậy cho nên là which means that's why or therefore. Now for example, when your friend told you Paul bị mất hộ chiếu which means Paul lost his passport and you know that he hasn't booked a ticket like a plane ticket. So you say À, chính vì vậy cho nên là ổng chưa mua vé máy bay. Again, à, chính vì vậy cho nên là ổng chưa mua vé máy bay. Oh, that's the reason why he hasn't booked a plane ticket yet. Now, similarly, the word bởi vậy Again, bởi vậy also means that's why or therefore. So, for example, Paul bị mất hộ chiếu. Paul lost his passport. And you can say, Bởi vậy, ổng chưa mua vé máy bay. Bởi vậy, ổng chưa mua vé máy bay. That's why he hasn't booked a plane ticket yet. You can also say, Hèn gì? Hèn gì? Which also means, That's why. And this word, you can only use in an informal situation. You can say, Hèn gì ổng chưa mua vé máy bay? Hèn gì ổng chưa mua vé máy bay? Now, for this phrase, Lâu quá không gặp. Again, Lâu quá không gặp. Which means, long time no see. So you can use this phrase, to say hello to someone when you haven't seen them for long. Now, for example, you go along the street and you saw someone that you haven't seen for a very long time and you get her attention. You say, Chị. Again, Chị, which means, hey, sister. And then that lady turns back and she saw you and she can say, Trời ơi, lâu quá không gặp. Khỏe không em? Again, Trời ơi, lâu quá không gặp. Khỏe không em? Which means, Oh my God, I haven't seen you for so long. How are you? Now, for this phrase, Thực ra, or Thực ra là, which means, actually, 
or in fact. Now, for example, when your friends visit you at your home, and then she saw a lot of white shirts in your wardrobe, and she say, "Anh có nhiều áo sơ mi trắng quá ha." Again, "Anh có nhiều áo sơ mi trắng quá ha," which means you have uh, so many white shirts. And you want to clarify that you don't like white, you like pink one. You say, Thực ra, anh thích màu hồng. Mấy cái này, má anh mua. Again, Thực ra, anh thích màu hồng. Mấy cái này, má anh mua. Which means, actually, I like pink. Those are bought by my mom. Now let's look at this phrase. Người ta nói. Or người ta nói. So that means people say. Or it is said that. You can use this phrase when you would like to refer to some common saying from other people. Now for example. Người ta nói. Mọi thứ xảy ra đều có lý do. Again, người ta nói, mọi thứ xảy ra đều có lý do. Which means, people say that everything happens for a reason. Or for example, người ta nói, cái gì của mình thì sẽ là của mình. Người ta nói, cái gì của mình thì sẽ là của mình. Which means, people say that What is yours will be yours. Now the last one. Hồi xưa. Hồi xưa. Or hồi xưa. What means in the past or in the old days? Now for example. Hồi xưa. Sài Gòn không đông đúc như bây giờ. Again. Hồi xưa. Sài Gòn không đông đúc như bây giờ. Which means, in the past, Sài Gòn wasn't as crowded as it is now. Or for example, Hồi xưa anh rất thích cổ. Hồi xưa anh rất thích cổ. Which means, I used to like her very much. And it means, not now. Okay, that's it for today. I hope the lesson is helpful for you. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.